So for the next few, I think it's probably better to, uh, to, to talk through more than do some new code. Um, so where we left off is the idea that there is a decision. Um, and the decision is made via a condition. So what they next want to get you straightened out with is the difference between the condition or how they're associated, the condition and the decision. It's not that big of a deal. So let's take this to begin with. In this case, the decision, um, well, let's take this one. The decision is whether to print out, okay, keep on recording, or time to call it a day. What are you going to do? Which one are you going to do? So the condition is just this. There's just one thing that's either true or false. Okay, so this is the condition. This is the choice of decisions. Up here, our condition's a little bit more complex. Um, here we have three. One, two, and three things that need to be considered in uh, making our decision. Our decision is either to make this variable true or to make it false. So it's a mild difference, but I'll just end it here by saying, and then we'll look at the other one, uh, these are the conditions, in this case plural. These are the conditions which will influence whether our decision is to make this true or to make it false. If we went over here and took a look at our uh, conditional blocks, we'd see, again, the decision to be made. Do we print out that? Or do we print out this? That's the decision. The decision is based upon this condition, whether or not the first average is greater than the second average. And that's basically what it boils down to is the if-else uh, block, which is the same for dual all programming languages. There is a block which makes a decision to do something or another thing based on a condition. And that condition can either be simple, like that, or like that. That's either a true or false um, value. Or the condition may be complex with more than one uh, subcondition, as it were. So that's basically those two right there, 4.1.6 and 4.1.7.